What up everybody? My name is Stanley Steen from Team Devereux and today we are going to take a look inside of AdCash and we are going to see and discover the flow of how to start your campaign. So let's dive in. Alright, so we are going to launch a campaign with AdCash today. But before we dive in, let me tell you that you can still apply for the Devaru Suite Beta. So you can sign up simply by following the link I will post in the description. And when you've done so, you'll get free access to the beta test of the Devaru Suite with all kinds of awesome software and tools that you can use for your affiliate marketing journey. Now let's dive in. We are going to start a campaign with AdCash. So right now I'm on the home page. Let's go to campaigns and we are going to create a new campaign and let's see express campaign or advanced campaign. Get your campaign up and running in a few clicks or take full control of every aspect of your ad campaign. Let's do that. All right. So advanced campaign is what we are going with for today. I'll give it a name, whatever. Obviously, don't put a name in like this. If you are creating a campaign, you want it to create a name of which you know what campaign it is so that in the future, if you have multiple campaigns, you can distinct them. Let's see. I do not want to run it on console. Let's just run it on desktop, shall we? So I can simply deselect all the other ones. Geo targeting. Very cool. So you can press worldwide or you can select a location. Uh, let's clear this because I just want to run this in the United States, for example. United States. It's searching. No matches found. UK. You sent it to more. Okay. You. Awesome. United States, United Kingdom, doesn't matter. Let's go with UK. All right. Let's pre press next. Potential daily impressions. Oh, that just went down from like 700,000 to three and a half thousand. Three, yeah, 350,000, obviously. All right. So let's start with pop under. All right. So no display banners, no native no push and no interstitial we are just going to start with pop under and then in other videos following this one we will discover all the other options for the supply that ad cash provides user interests user interests all selected so with this you can basically target your ads to the audience that you want to reach so if you have a sports offer, for example, you will most likely want audience that are interested in sports, right? So that's how you use these interests. I'm going to unselect all and let's just go with something like sports. Here we go. And we can even press the plus sign to see more options within sports. So maybe I don't want to target people with college sports and I don't want to target people for fantasy sports, but maybe I just want to target all the other sports. So this gives you an option to get an even more detailed targeting for your campaign. All right, devices, do we want to filter on that already? Mm, I don't want to. I want to basically keep it open for now. Content. I will leave that as is as well. And the connection, I'm not too worried about that as well. Now, we do see that the potential daily impressions have gone down quite a bit. It's about 1% of what it was initially. 3,543 impressions daily potential. Uh, so as it says, the targeting might be too specific. So when you see this, you maybe want to you know, target a little bit wider. 
So I would probably select a couple more interests to make the audience a bit bigger to make sure that I can actually run my daily budget and actually test this campaign. But for now, let's continue. But do keep a close eye on that. So we are just going to use the pop under and then we want to fill in our creative URL available make macros you can use to track and optimize your campaigns need help all right so here are some macros so here you would just type in your domain and we can save the creative and now we've got a active creative for this campaign easy as that all right, then we press next and we go to the budget, the budgeting. So the weekly distribution, I am going to put and leave on 24 seven. Then the total campaign budget, you can fill in your total budget for the complete campaign right here. I will leave it unlimited right now. Campaign status after validation. So do you want it to become active right away or do you want it paused first to make sure that everything is set up to go? And then what kind of bid type do you want? CPN, CPC, CPA target, frequency capping. So I will put this on limit of two impressions every 24 hours for each user, each impression, each IP address. Apply to IP address, all right. So you can even choose to apply this to device, meaning that if you are on one IP address with your mobile phone and your desktop, you can get the impression of the ad twice per device. Whereas if you apply to IP address, you will only get it once for all the devices with that same IP address. So it gives you some more option to clarify, okay, how often do you want to show it if we've got multiple devices on one IP address? So it's a pretty cool feature that they have. And then the bit, it gives us a bit suggestion of 99 euro cents. So let's go with that. Save payout. Awesome. So that is saved as we can see. And then right here, we've got the cappings. So we don't have a, um, where is it? Right here. We don't have a total campaign budget, but I want a daily budget of 200 euros, for example. Daily impressions I can leave open. Spread budget throughout the day. I do recommend you pressing that because that way it will automatically use your daily budget over the full day instead of spending it all as fast as possible and maybe spending your daily budget in the first five hours, for example, and having the rest of the day without any budget left. So I'm going to save that capping and then I'm going to press next. And then we have an overview. So here you can check everything that you've set up in these first four steps. And when you agree with everything that's in this overview, you simply press create a campaign right here at the bottom or save for later if you just want to save the settings for now. And if you have anything that you want to change, maybe you want to change the device type targeting, then you just go back to that step where you can change it and you can change it up. Maybe you want to add console. And when you press next and you go to the overview, obviously it will be changed. And this way you can have a good overview of what your campaign is going to look like and what you've set up. And as soon as you agree with everything that you've set up and you're like, okay, this is how I want to run my campaign and this is how it's going to be profitable and how I believe is what is the best for my campaign. Then if you all agree, you just press create a campaign and boom, it's on. All right. That's going to be, uh, that's going to be it for this one, but stay tuned because we're going to discover all the options with ad cash in these videos in this series. So stay tuned for more. And in the meantime, have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.